going on guys? Welcome back to Fish with Norby. Tournament evening, I'm out here with my dad. We're gonna go try to get on, you ready dad? We're ready. All right, it's three bass limit, 5.30 to eight. We only have two and a half hours to fish. We gotta go find them, see where they're biting, see what they're biting. Hopefully we get on them. There's some big ones in here and we, we probably need three that are at least 10 pounds to do any good tonight. Been out here tying up for a few minutes and we're about to take off. And I'm excited we're out here on Lake Gunnersville today, weeknight tournament. These are fun. So I also want to do a little mystery tackle box giveaway with you guys. So we're going to do a guess the weight like I've done in the past. I got my mystery tackle box here. Ooh, we got some Castaic Jerky J's. We got some wide gap hooks. We got a little sexy shed crankbait. Another little chartreuse blue crankbait. A Yozuri Spook, that's sweet. And check that out, some really good looking swim baits. And that clear water, that's a good mystery tackle box. Somebody's gonna win this. If you guess the weight, dad and I catch, or you're the closest guest, you're gonna win, but you have to guess right now, down in the comments. You have to guess right now or you're not gonna be entered to win. So, no cheating. Guess, put in a guess, best three, what do you think? Hopefully, we sack them up tonight, but who knows? There's about 10 or 12 boats out here. We're getting ready to take off. Let's go whack them. Think you got a good one? All right. Oh, gosh, dude. Would you rather use this or the flute? Alright, just hang it over the edge just in case they start coming out. Alright, now just drag that sucker. When you get bit, set the hook over here like your good hook set. There's so much stretch in your line. If you get one to take it, I'm going to duck it and you set it hard, alright? Right. So that's about how you have to to hook these things. Oh, there's one. Got him. Oh, good one, Dan. That's a good one. He's going up to jump. Don't jump. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a good one. It's a stud. Come on, buddy. He felt way bigger than that. All right. Apologies on how big he felt. I'm using a seven foot medium heavy rod he feels a lot bigger than that that's pitiful i'm embarrassed for how big i thought that fish was i don't know why he thought a trick worm yep i don't know why i thought he was so big that was on my first cast first cast of the night there we go the worm number one okay that'll work huh That'll work. There's a bass, there's two bass under us. What'd you say? Because you want it to be. <laughs> I guess. Oh, I shall him pick it up. There he is. Net. Feels about like that last one. Maybe a little smaller. I got him. It's all right. Oh, yeah, I'll just net him. Sounds good. Yeah, there's a two and three quarter pounder. Woo! All right. Back to back. What'd you say? Yeah. The big mag trick worm. Look at that. Two and a half. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys my cold tag tip. A lot of you guys dog me for using these cold tags. I tell you every time, at the top of their mouth, there's a V. You just stick it up in that V and wiggle it, and it comes through the natural hole in their mouth. You don't have to break their skin or nothing. All right, fish number two. Here, Dad. You want to throw this guy? Yeah, I probably do. There you go. Here. Number two. Far enough right here. It's, I don't have enough line on it. 
I'll throw this jig. I like this jig. Okay. Already got two in the boat. They're decent ones. They're not going to win us a tournament. That's for sure. But they're probably over two and a half. Probably two and a half each. I'll try the drop shot. There you go, first cast of the drop shot, Dan. Yep, there's the finicky. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. It's a real good one all the way out of the water he's like a three pounder <laughs> as soon as i picked up the drop shot he's been flinging lures all over there he comes again Woo! come on buddy he's gonna get here and shoot down on me yep sure is come on Yeah, he's a keeper. We got a third already, folks. Another two pounder. There we go. A finesse worm. Okay. Number three. Or he's labeled number five. Number five has to go. There we go. The drop shot. Take it. It's a skinny worm, huh? It is. There's one. Yep, got him. Feels decent. Little. Feels good. No, he feels good. Come on, fish. Be a big daddy. I can't tell. Oh, no. Oh, three pounder. I know. Three pounder. <laughs> he got off right there. Wouldn't you know it? I know it was. That stinks. Got off right by the boat. Okay, guys, we caught three in that first spot. It started raining on us. Took all the camera gear down. We caught one more. Rain went away. We're coming to fish our last spot. We got one hour left. Hopefully, we can catch them here. We just grabbed over a bunch of them. I'm excited. Let's drop down to them and catch them. We're going to start off with our cranks, but we might end up going finesse on them here in a few casts. We saw a bunch down there. Where we just went over. Are you fishy, Yeah. Oh, there's one. Good one, Dad. Good one. Good one. Yeah. Thank you. I think he's gonna call that little one. You should call the little one. Out. I think so. Thank you. I think so. Got us a, I don't know, two and a quarter. There's oh. the, there's the difference. Yeah, he's bigger. He'll call him out. All right, see, you, buddy. Little one going back. First cast in the new spot. Yep. First cast with the big deep crank. And get a little more water in there for him. All right, let's make it two in a row. He bit been locked off the boat. Yeah, he was right by the boat when he bit. He smoked it. I thought he was bigger than that. Here, there's one. Oh shoot, get off. Yeah, that was going to be for 
There's one. Nah. He doesn't feel that big. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to call or not. I'll take the nest over just because he's a drop shot. Thank you, Dad. I don't think he's going to help us. No, he's smaller than He's a keeper, though. Not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is not taking a ride tonight. But, sweet. I think he's smaller. He's smaller. All right. I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure. All right. As far as you know. Drop shot. A couple of his on the crankbait. You got to switch to a drop shot. Or a worm or something else to get to it. It's just being so tough. Can't catch multiple fish. In a lot of places. Just catch one or two or three. Can't catch 20. You got one? There you go, Dad. Oh, set that hook. Set that hook. There you go. Yeah? Think you got a good one? Yeah. Alright. Oh my gosh, Dad. Oh. Oh. Don't. If he. If he oh. Don't let him break your line. Hit your button if you have to. Hit your button. Hit your button. Oh gosh, you got a good one, Dad. Give me some. Alright. Yes. Look at that. Look how he ate it. Look how he ate it. Choke that thing. I gotta get some G juice on him. Whoo, that's a stud, Dad. Good job. Whoo. All right, he is not getting cold out. <laughs> now we gotta see which ones are small. Got one, two. Those are about the same. Three. Those are all about the same. Wow. I guess I do have to. Go in the middle. This one's bigger. We can go with that one being bigger. I think. Oh, don't pull as hard because you, you didn't retire anything. He had, he had that swallow. Oh, that's a Kohler. Okay. Come on up, buddy. Don't let him break you off. Oh, get him. Yes. Good job, Dad. Wow. Uh, I don't know if he's going to call or not. You need, you need the wear. You got the little deal you put on Yeah. The deal. Get you another one. Check your line, though, because that big one probably shredded it. It's down his gullet. Okay, here you go. Yep, the one you caught's heavier by far. Good job, Dad. Good job. Okay. That's two and a quarter going back. Let's see, buddy. There he goes. Good job, Dad. Oh my gosh. Good one? They're loving that one. Still feels pretty good. That's way out. I don't know if that one's gonna cold. That one's not. You got him. Good job, Dad. I can't even get a cast in the water. <laughs> Got one. You do? Yep. He doesn't feel very big. Keeping that left side. Lines, man. Ooh, oh, oh, that's a three pounder. Yeah, it looked like a good one. They it's keep getting off. Pressure. It's these hooks. You got one on? No. You better set that hook, Dad. I do have one on. Just sitting in there. Yeah, he picked it up while you were netting for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's jumping. Oh, there you go. Close. He jumped really about. Not, he yeah, jumped about, about three feet, feet out yeah. of the water. Nice. I don't know if he's going to call or not. Nope. I'll let you flip him. He's not calling. Nope. I think the one I just had was going to, though. Let him sit there longer than Good job, Dad. Not very feisty, dude. Oh, we would have doubled up. <laughs> Mine got off. They get off. I need to change these hooks out. 
something. You've had a couple of nice ones that have gotten off on that. I one. know. Goodness. These 10XDs come with terrible hooks. All these KVD crankbaits do. Just fi fun fishing. Can't do those file, make them a little sharper. No, they're super sharp. They just come off. I need to put them triple grips. Then big old katana hooks on there. You got one? Got one. Nice, Dad. I'm coming up. Good job. Good one? Yeah, You got one too. I got one on too, I know. Oh, you got a little guy. He choked it. He might call out. We're both hooked up. I got a little white bass. That's why. Mine felt so tiny. No, I don't think so. Let me see him. I'm holding. Yeah. Two and a quarter. He's not calling out. I had to feel him. I had those other ones in my hand. They definitely. I'm just reel it up to bring it under the cast out again. Smoked it, huh? <laughs> wow. That's awesome. We got 25. Yep. Smoking them, Dad. I know. You got one five pounder. I need another one though. If we want to crush him, I got one. Pretty good. No, he got off. His little white bass hit me. There's one. This one feels like a good one. Really? Yep. Yep, this is a good one. Feels like it. Now he's coming in easier. Yeah, I'll get it off mine. Skiing him in now. Oh gosh, I got him. He's tiny. He was hooked in the side for a minute. Hooked in the forehead. Look at that. I thought he was going to be a stud. He's just hooked in the forehead. Gosh. He does not like being hooked in the forehead. <laughs> that thing hooked him good. Let's get us another. I think that's Trey. There's one. Good one, Dad. Good one. Good one. He just got a lot. Oh, he got off. He got off. Oh, no, he's still on there. My goodness, he was just swimming with me. That might be a color just close. Yeah, he's gonna be real close to corn. Thank you. You set that net down. Keep fishing. I don't think he's gonna call. Check him though. That guy's bigger. Okay. This guy is bigger. Those are both bigger. Dang. Two and a half. Let's see, buddy. That's a good one, though. He felt bigger. Man, they feel so big when they smash this crankbait way out there. They feel big no matter what when you hook them out deep. Oh my gosh, I just got smoked by a giant. This one's fighting harder than the last two. He hit it going the opposite way. I can't tell how big he is. He's coming in so fast right now. He's just swimming with me. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> Dang. That was a good one, three pounder. He hit it going the opposite way. Like I was reeling fast, he went bam. Normally they knock slack in it, but he did not knock slack in it. He hit it so hard. Wow. I don't know how these guys are getting off. Six cents cloud nine, triple grip hooks. Just lost a three pounder, guys. Yeah? I don't think so. I don't think so. Nah, little guy. Good one, though, Dad. There you go. Good job. Good job. Just a little dude. Just a little dude. Gotta get them big ones. We gotta get them big ones. We're crushing them. We got 15 minutes till weigh in. Yeah, so. You got one? 
You got a stud? We got like two minutes of fishing time left. Dad's hooked up. He says he's got a good one. He's coming in pretty easy, huh? Don't horse him, don't horse him. You haven't reached. Oh, he might call. Yeah, it's gonna call. Oh, yeah. Good job, Dad. You got a caller with like a minute left. All three of the fish are under that cast, bucket. Cast it. <laughs> I know. Give me some. Oh. Here, I'll fix your worm. Fling it right back out there. Good job, Dad. Yes. Look at Dad go. Brought the hammer. All right. Let's see which one's heavier. Oh, yeah. This dude's heavier. Come back. Andrew and Tom. All right. Uh, Andrew and Tom must have done What's good. What's big? The camp you. Right. <laughs> right there. Yeah, Ain't done no nice fish one. in. Wow. One, one main guy I had four pounds. Well, big I caught, fish. I caught a limit, and Dad called me out of all of them. Four, four pounds, eight ounces. Ten pounds even. Ten even. That look good. Thank you. That's what I said. Ten pounds. I don't know. Good job, Dad. Dad's over here filming. Let me weigh in his fish. <laughs> Andrew and Tom. Right. Big fish and. <laughs> oh, we got a split big fish. Another guy had a Two full eight. Okay. Half of the big right. fish. Right. Big fish. Thank you, guys. Who's the other half the big fish? <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job, guys. <laughs> What'd you have for total weight? Nine. Nine. Good nice. job, guys. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank, Thank you. Y'all come back and fish with us. Will do. Here. I appreciate yeah. it. You know we have it on Sunday evening too. Sunday evening at what? Five? Four. Four, Four to eight. Okay, Dad and I ended up pulling out the dub. We got the win. 10 pounds, we caught a ton of fish, guys. We caught a ton, that was a blast. We were ledge fishing mainly, and the fish are starting to transition off the ledges, but man, we whacked them, that was good. If you guessed 10 pounds even below, if multiple people guessed it uh, at this time of the video, I'm gonna check, and I'm gonna randomly pick the person who guessed 10 pounds, um, if multiple people guessed it. So, that was, Fun tournament, had a blast with Dad. We're gonna get out there here in the next few videos uh, coming up soon. The fish kept getting off that big deep crank I was throwing tonight, and I don't know, those hooks are just not sticky sharp. I need to put some big katana hooks on there. Um, I'm just out, I'm out. So, gonna get some more, gonna replace those. Losing those three, three pounders was not good. But had a fun time. I'm gonna share a little something with you guys. I hope you're enjoying your day. It's from James chapter three, verse five. It says, likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body and it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body. It sets the whole course of one's life on fire and itself set on fire by hell. Wow, that's pretty strict. A um, couple weeks ago, we talked about how, um, I think it was last week, we talked about positive expectations in your life and negative expectations. And right here, if, if you let the tongue uh, talk negatively about your life, you're setting a world, your world on fire. Um, yeah pretty intense. Then it goes on to say, all kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. We, with the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? Can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. 
Then it goes on to talk about wisdom. So, read James chapter 3. Um, there's a bunch of verses all over the Bible that talk about taming the tongue. And I want to ask you guys, are you working on taming your tongue? Do, it, it's not one of those things you check off. It's a constant, I can tame my tongue more. And I can tame it to say things more in, in uh, light of Christ and, and the way He wants me to live. Um, cursing, the Bible talks about cursing. There's a few verses that specifically say, do not curse. So um, I used to cuss growing up all the time. And Lord, we did that out of me. Thank goodness. He, we did that out of me. So I don't cuss anymore. Um, because of what God's done in my life. But I used to. And a lot of us, when we become new Christians, we have a lot of stuff we need to weed out of our life, but you just come to the Lord and He does that for you. He weeds it out. He convicts your heart. Um, so taming the tongue is one of those things. I encourage you. Dig into the Word. Look up some verses about cursing and taming the tongue. And... Pray that God helps you weed that out of your life. Hope that encourages you today. And we're going to get out of here, but I hope you're enjoying your day. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if this is the first time you're seeing it. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Again, let me know if you enjoyed this tournament episode. Dad and I had a blast. Nothing like winning a tournament with your dad. That was fun. And then, if the Lord puts it on your heart, you can support my channel through a website called Patreon. It's linked down below as well. But we're going to get out of here for the day. God bless you guys. We'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.